Hi folks, right, uh, we're going to have a quick tutorial on bead PCBs and what to do when you turn them on and you hear this. Oh my god, it's broken, let's quickly desolder everything and mess the rest of the board up. You can of course do that, however, let's try and not do that, let's try and repair it shall we? Right, first thing to do, RAM. Here's the 16 RAM chips around here, the 4816s or various. We have a jumper here which selects it's S25 and it selects 16K or 32K mode. So what we'll do is we'll pop it into 16K mode, turn it back on and woo, it lives. So that means there is a fault in one of the RAM banks. Now because we put it into 16K mode, it's actually using the RAMs that are not socketed because this was originally a Model A or possibly a 16K machine that's been upgraded and had the extra RAM put in. So when that link is set to 16K, it's using the chips that are not socketed. So fortunately on this machine, we know that the fault is in one of the socketed chips because it's in one of the upgrade chips. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plug in this, which is a little funky board I've made up and is extremely useful, which simply contains one inverter. And what it does is it inverts the signals that are going to the refresh lines of the RAM and it, it swaps the banks around so now the socketed chips become the ones that run in 16k and the non socketed chips then run in the 32k mode is that right or is it meant to be the other way around anyhow we fired it up and we get that let's just get that right so using this inverter means that instead of these chips being at the bottom 16k when we put it to 32k mode these chips go to the top 32 16k and the socketed chips become the bottom ones which is why it wouldn't boot up because one of them is faulty and if any of the bottom 16k are faulty you just get the beep so this inverter changes them round so the socketed chips are now the top 16k which is why we're getting mess on the screen so if we go to mode zero we will see that the top part of the screen up till and 4000 is clear which is the bottom 16k and the top 16k has got some rubbish on it so we now need to write a small program and the program goes like this 10 clear screen 20 a is random and 4000. 30 B equals A query and 4000. 40 if B does not equal 0 then print B stop 50 B dot 20 and I probably got that around the wrong way but let's try it anyway. Nope. And as soon as I run that what I'll do is I'll clear the screen and list that for you you can see what that program is. As soon as we run that, it stops and gives me a 16. If I run it again, it stops with the same thing, a 16. That tells me that these little dashes here are 16s instead of there should be zeros. Now 16 is, in the binary, is D4, data line four. So now we get our trusty schematic. And we're going to look on to see where D4 is. I'm going to have to look extremely closely because my eyesight is not particularly good. And we see it's at the bottom. It's either, I'm going to pop the magnifying glass on here. One sec. So D4 is either IC65 or 57. Now 65 or 57, 57 is here. 65 is here. Now we know the fault is in one of the socketed chips because of what we've done with the inverter. So let's test that theory. Let's pop 
65 and we've got a new one that I just so happen to have here and without bending the pins which is probably exactly what's going to happen we pop it in turn it back on and it's all clear and in mode zero our flickering has gone so next job remove the inverter pop the jumper back onto 32k mode and your beep is repaired and that is the long and the short of how to diagnose problems in the RAM. Sometimes you may have to desolder chips if they're all soldered in then sometimes you have to desolder them sometimes you don't but if you watch the video and watch where the this link puts this bank of 16k or this bank of 16k then you'll know which one of the two to desolder. Effectively in 32k mode when the beam is set to 32k mode if the fault is in the bottom section it will be on these socketed chips here they may not be socketed on your board but they're in the same positions and if it's in the top section then it will be on those ones there right thanks very much for watching au revoir